To play the image in the workspace, you can just drag reference from the folder and apply it as reference image. We can see how the image settings panel appeared at the top and you can adjust it. The image will be added relative to the VF. After the settings, you can make sure that the settings panel is minimized. The first tool used is called Point to Polygon or simply Point Poly. This tool is convenient to use to create a low poly mesh. I will explain a little how to use it. Left click to place points. You can move the points with the right click. To create a polygon, you need to right click in the space between the points. Also, on the create mesh, you can use the right click to correct vertices and the right click hold on the Ctrl K to correct the edges. You can also split by hold on Ctrl and left clicking. So you can quickly and easily create a low poly mesh without switching to other tools. If you need to split the mesh in the right direction, you can use a knife tool. If you enable ignore the back faces, then the mesh will be divided only into the visible part. Of course, you can also use the other method to create a mesh, but this method is rarely convenient. With this tool you can also create a mesh on top of the mesh. For this purpose it is necessary to raise it from ZBs on zero that points will be visible. The shell tool is used to create the thickness. Now we can see that the object is adjustable by axis. The Select Transform tool is used for this purpose. It is a tool with which we can adjust the select polygons, edge or vertices using axis. Using the axis you can do many different manipulations. For example, you can relate select edge, face or vertices to the axis. Extrude is also done without leaving this tool. Just select a face or edge and click apply and move it in the desired direction. You can also press enter but I will recommend it defining a hotkey that is convenient for you. Because this operation must be done very often. Also you can hold the shift to move only the axis and do various operations relative to this axis. For ease of use of the transform tool, I recommended assigning hotkeys such as apply to main axis to center mass. This way you will be able to work very fast. I'm show a little bit how it works. This way you can create complex models. 
it is very easy and very fast. I'm showing specifically so that you understand how almost the whole ship was created. You can also move the selected edges along the band. For this purpose, it is necessary to close Gizmo. To close Gizmo, press Escape. To select all the edges and circle, use the double click. To select multiple edges, press Shift and double click. To move the edges, use the right click. But remember that this method will work if Gizmo is closed. The point to poly tool and the select transform tool are the main tool I use almost all the time. So I made it easy to access to the quick access panel. Now I want to show an interesting point how to form a mesh with the help of a sculpt room. Faces are removed with the Dialet Polygons tool. Enable the Show Poly object in the Sculpt Room. Now a Sculpt Room is used to create the form. The Snap tool is now in use the Asculpt object. So you can form a mesh of any complexity. Here it is shown how the object is extended by symmetry, so you can weld the mirrored object in any direction. Using symmetry you can do many different tricks. For example, your symmetry is used to make an object without holes. The symmetry panel is in the symmetry tab. But it is better call the symmetry panel with hotkeys. By default it is the SK. In the symmetry panel you can select the direction of reflection. On the top panel there is button to flip the mirror.
This panel also has a pick button. With this button you can set the center relative to which the symmetry will be reflected. Just select this button and tap the part of the screen where you want the center to be. Here is button apply symmetry to current layer. To apply symmetry in the mesh tab, there is the apply symmetry to current layer button. Now I want to offer you a bridge tool. It is a tool with which you can connect selected tiges. Because I've used it very little, I'm not going to talk about this tool a lot. Just show the moments where it is used. Ok, now I can recommend that you a method of creating a mesh using cloning. The mesh can only be cloned when the face mode is chosen. Choose select all face of this layer. And use the shell tool to create the thickness. This is especially useful when you need to create a mesh clearly connect to the mesh. I often use this trick and maybe that's why I rarely use primitives. Ok, now let's see where it is used in the ship. <laughs> 